International Airport, where the Wings of Freedom National Tour officially swoops in. And it is so cool, and there's so much history this morning. Our very own Amanda Tebow is live on the tarmac right now. Hey, Amanda. Hey guys, good morning. Yeah, I feel like I got the really lucky job this morning. I'm in the lucky spot. We've been touring aircraft all morning long from World War II, from the Korean War. You can be just as lucky as I am though, because you can come out here this weekend. Starting at 9 a.m., the gates are going to open. Not only do you get to see these planes, but you actually get to get inside a lot of them too. But we're bringing you up to modern day history here a little bit. We're going to rewind and fast forward, but we're talking about the F-16s. So there's one behind me. You know this guy, it's Steve Perkins. Executive Director of the Vermont Historical Society. It's like this place in history, but on Friday morning. This is Sergeant Bentley with the Vermont Air National Guard. He's a crew chief for one of these F-16s. What does that job entail? Well, it uh, entails a lot. It's uh, really a lot of dedication and teamwork. Uh, what you see on this aircraft is the cutting edge of where we are in, in society and uh, really represents, uh, I think, the VTANG culture and, and the nature of the state that we live in. So it's a whole lot of turning wrenches and um, troubleshooting. Like I said, working with a bunch of specialists that make this thing uh, get in the air. Awesome. Steve? Well, just I, I want to put a little history in here. How long has the Air National Guard been here in Vermont? Yeah, so we were established in 1946, federally recognized in 1947. Uh, this will be the, uh, it's the eighth aircraft that we've had here on base, and 35 will be the ninth, so we've uh, been around for a while. <laughs> and give us a yeah. little background on the F-16 in sure. particular. Yeah, so this one was actually built in 1986, um, but it's got a just shy of Mach 2. I'm sure everybody asks the speed, wants to know how yeah. fast it can go. So it's, it's a very fast aircraft, um, acceleration, uh, multi-role fighter, so we can take it and um, do a bunch of different aspects of the mission. Very cool. We saw earlier today a P-51 Mustang, yeah. and that was the first aircraft that the Vermont Air National Guard um, had here in the state of Vermont. Now that we have the F-16, we heard that the Mustang was used mostly for air superiority. Um, what is the F-16 used for? Right, so we're not necessarily uh, dogfighting anymore. We've kind of evolved past that in, uh, in, our, in our war tactics here. So it's, uh, you know, we'll have close air support, so we're really supporting our, um, you know, allied forces and, and whatnot. Um, so it's, it's, we're delivering, you know, munitions on, on target. And when kids and the public in general see F-16s, what is their first reaction? What's a really common question? I know for me, I was surprised by the size. It's a lot smaller than I thought. Certainly, close yeah. And personal. Uh, I think the kids think it's a lot bigger than it is. <laughs> uh, then you look at, you know, maybe a, an F-15 or F-18, something like that, and you realize it's actually a lot smaller. So definitely size is a big thing. Um, and like I said, people want to know how fast it goes. Are these still in commission? And uh, yes, they're, they're still getting the job done. Great. And people can come here all weekend to check out the F-16, right? Absolutely. This is the place to be. So if you want to see one up close, you want to see the, uh, the old war fighters, it's, it's going to be a blast and you can do it right here. Very cool. All right. Thank you, Sergeant Bentley, for joining us. Steve's sticking around. We're going to chat more in just a few minutes on the local 44 morning brew. But of course, first, on the other side of the commercial break, I have your forecast. Back to you guys. I'm getting us the forecast is sunny. Yeah. It's loud. Oh, it's loud. Yeah. There goes a the plane. <laughs> it We're is. at the airport, folks. <laughs> uh, that's what happens. What you do at the uh, airport. 810 this morning. Vermont Comic Con is back and ready for action. Coming up, we have a preview of what you can expect at this year's event. You're watching Local 44 Morning.